Sea of Thieves, the safer seas update. Something I've been waiting for for a very long time. The character creation screen. I have to say I was a little bit disappointed that we cannot make our character ourselves. What we have to choose from a radial dial, if you like, of different characters. You can create new pirates and it's more or less an endless stream of different characters popping up for you to choose from. Um, I don't quite like this. You can't get your character to look exactly how you want them to and I find it very disappointing to be fair. You look a little worse for wear, my friend. You must be on quite the journey. I should eat something if I were you. A full belly can do wonders for your spirits. Once you're in good health, we'll speak properly. So we are in the tutorial now, and I think it is helpful for newer players, although I did find it doesn't tell you too much. Um, it doesn't give you any indication, for example, how long it takes to cook an item. This is going to be like um, hit and miss. <laughs> and I do believe I ended up burning the banana. Um, I don't know if different items are going to cook at different rates, for example. A little hint there would have been nice. There, you look better already. Maybe even strong enough to reach the Sea of Thieves. <laughs> Don't look so surprised. These days they call me the Pirate Lord. But back when I discovered this place, I was just a bold explorer like you. I dreamt of finding uncharted waters filled with treasures and rife with danger, where every sunrise brought a new adventure. You've been brave to make it this far. Not many do. Now you've one last crossing to make. You'll want some trusty steel at your side, though. There's a sword in those trees whose owner doesn't seem to need it anymore. The Safer Seas update is now going to allow players like myself, who are not that interested in PvP, to play the game, see what it's all about, and have fun without getting camped and ganked and the toxicity that can come with PvP games. This I am very much looking forward to, even though there are some restrictions for loot, etc. and some of the gameplay also. There's far more to being a pirate than a blade in your hand and a love of other people's money. It's about finding your way through ancient caverns by lamplight, digging up long lost treasures, and raising a frothing great tankard of grog when you live to tell the tale. For all that, you'll need the right equipment. You can start by taking this old shovel. I stowed a few belongings around here back in the day. The map will show you the way.
I found the tutorial island to be lots of fun. There's plenty to do. It doesn't take that long and it will help you understand how to maneuver around the map, interact with objects and explore. For example, I know that there are 10 journals to find hidden about the island. I'm not going to show you where they all are. There are plenty of videos out there will show you exact locations of these journals. They're an interesting little bit of lore, a little bit of read, and I do believe they unlock something, which again, I'm not going to spoil it for you because I'm not into spoilers. As I say, I did find it a lot of fun, and I think at some point I do try like jump off the cliffs and see if I take fall damage and go for a swim in the sea and have a bit of explore. And that's what you're going to see next, me just exploring the island trying to find a couple of these journals it's all sped up for you so we're not going to waste anybody's time <laughs> with silly long drawn out videos enjoy
Well now, I say you're as ready as you'll ever be for what's ahead. Allow me to show you the path. Shroud is beginning to part, but you have one more task before your journey continues. You may be ready to sail, but your ship still needs repairs. Go and tend to her wounds. So now we get to go and fix up our little boat. Sorry, ship. Uh, I think it's, is it called a sloop, this one? A little sloop? I'm not too sure. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I'm sure you will. But I found this part a lot of fun as well because you get to learn how to fix up your ship if it's been broken or smashed up. We got to raise the anchor, we got to fix the sail, find wood in barrels, have a look under, underneath, down the stairs. Uh, at one point I even climbed up the mast and it was an amazing view up there. So I found this part to be lots of fun and I think the tutorial's going well so far and I did enjoy it. And I hope if you're playing the game for yourselves for the first time that you do too. It really is a lot of fun. I found the ship difficult at first to steer and I will admit to I still struggle but I'm sure I will get better with practice. As you can see on the screen I try to keep it north um, but I think I was oversteering to the right and oversteering to the left but again that will come with practice. I found this part fun because a, a skeleton ship pops up and, a, and a, is it a megalodon I think? I mean, I did watch Beta Guys Gaming play this a lot, so I do know a little bit about the game. But I'm not overconfident in my own gameplay as of yet. 
And on that note, I'd like to ask you all a huge, huge favour. If you're going to comment on my videos or watch my streams to do with Sea of Thieves, can you please, please not tell me any story spoilers? General hints and tips are very welcome. Please don't try and tell me how to play the game. I, I need to learn how to play it myself. That is how I learn. Uh, I don't register instructions very well. I, I actually learn by doing. So that would be an absolute help to me if you could try your best to refrain from doing that. I know it's awkward, but thank you if you can. Much appreciated. I am aware that this is an older game, I think, if, uh, if I'm right, it's about five years old now. And therefore, there might not be that much interest because it's an older game. Also, I am playing the Safer Seas content and a lot of people do like PvP. So again, there might not be that much interest. I will do a couple of videos and some streams with other people if they want to come and play with me. And let's see how things go. If there isn't that much interest, guys, then I will, you know, stop and put my time and effort into different games and different content. So please do, if you can, show me that you're interested by liking the video, maybe leaving a little comment. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Uh, I do try and play different kinds of games on my channel. And also there's Barkley and Bennett, my two little, little kitty cats that will appear on live streams and their own little videos too.